All right, today I'm going to go over how to do a problem uh, when you have two things that are gonna collide with each other and you wanna know where and when they're gonna collide when they're on a collision course. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the problem. So if a train is moving east at 80 miles per hour and another train on the same track One hundred and fifty miles away is moving west at sixty miles per hour. Then we're going to answer two questions. A. When will the trains collide, and B, where will the trains collide? Okay, so the first thing I like to do is draw a little picture for myself. So I'll come over here and I'll draw train track and I'm going to color code this problem because I find that color coding really helps me to keep things straight in a problem so the first train is moving east at 80 miles per hour so I'll put that train over here and I'll represent it with a box I'll say that's train a and we'll say that to the right is east so it's moving this direction at 80 miles per hour. And then let's make train B a different color. Go with the purple. No, let's go with pink. So the other train is moving west at 60 miles per hour. So I'll put that train right here, call it train B, oops, just realized, forgot a zero, so a slightly shorter arrow, 60 miles per hour, and we were told that the distance between train A and train B was 150 miles. Okay, so that's a picture of what we need to figure out. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in several different ways. The first day, thing I wanna show you is how to do this uh, with a graphical method. So if we go ahead and let's think, we need 150 miles. So let's see. So let's start here. All right. So let's see. We know that they need to be 150 miles away. So this would be 0, 20, 40, 60, 81. 120, 140, 160. Okay, and this would be position in miles. Right? Okay. Uh, and I don't know how long it's going to take them, but I'm going to do this in um, 10 minute increments. So 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, so 60 would be one hour, 10, 20, 30. I don't think it's gonna, uh, this should be 90. So this will be time, uh, and I have it in minutes here. So we're going to randomly decide which train is at the origin. And um, just because train A is on the left of my drawing, I'll go ahead and put train A at the origin. And then I know it needs to go 80 miles in every hour. So 60, so this is 80, 20, 40, 60, 80 miles in the first hour. So I know that train A is going to follow this linear path. And I know that train B is going to start 150 miles away, 120, 140, so 150 is right here. And then it has to go 60 miles an hour back this way. So let's see. In an hour, it needs to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Ooh. So it'll go to right here. All right. So, and I know this isn't perfect, and I could make this bigger. And if you graphed this better, then you could get even better results. But what we're going to see now is where those two meet, which is gonna be the red zone of death. Oh, that's gonna be where um, they're actually not gonna keep going anymore because they're going to crash. So I'm gonna bring this one, this point down to my time axis. So that's, I don't know, about 62 minutes, so just over an hour. And then if I come over here, I've got 60, 80, 100 would be here. So I don't know, about 90 miles from where train A started. So that gives us an idea when we do our algebra of what our answer should approximately look like. I'm quickly just gonna draw the motion map for this. I'm gonna start over here. And I'm gonna draw an axis right here. Oh, I should've used a ruler. Where this is 80 meters and this is 160 meters. Okay. And then I'm going to think about where this was at 30. And let's do 15 as well. 15, 30, 45, 60. So now I can graph that over here at time equals zero at time equals 15, time equals 45, 15, 30, 45, 60. And this is my motion map for train A if up is east. So now let's think. At time 15, at time 30, at time 45, and 60. So for train B, I start here, and then after 15 minutes, I've gone to here, to 30 minutes, after 45 minutes, and then here was an hour. So I will, as you can see from the drawing, the arrows are starting to cross right here. So we know about uh, a little over 80 meters is where they're going to cross. I forgot my zero again. All right, 
And before we even do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and do the velocity time graph for you. I'm gonna scoot this up a little bit. So for my velocity time graph, I'm gonna put that right underneath this position time graph. I'm gonna draw my axis here. Let's see, I have to have positive 80 and negative 60. 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60. Okay. So now this is gonna be velocity in miles per hour. And then time, I put it in minutes. So here's 60 minutes. Here's 30 minutes, right? Okay, so train A is going in a positive velocity of 80 miles per hour. So here's zero miles per hour, 20, 40, 60, 80. Here's negative 40, negative 60. Okay, and this is positive. Remember positive and negative at this point, they just mean direction. So this line is going positive 80 miles per hour all the way until right here. So at time, you know, zero it was going 80 miles per hour. At time 15, it was going 80 miles per hour. At time 30, 80 miles per hour. And this whole time it was going 80 miles per hour in a positive direction. And then right here, it crashes, so we're gonna assume it stops. For our train B, it was going 60 miles an hour west, which is the same as negative 60 miles per hour. It was going negative 60 the whole time until it crashes. Oops, I'm not supposed to show they're both at zero now. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to represent this motion with math equations so that we can get the exact uh, A and B when the trains will meet and where they will meet. Uh, because we got from the graph that the, it should be at about 62 minutes and about 90 miles away from train a, where train A started, but we want to be a little bit more precise. So we're going to actually write the um, equation for each one of the motion of each one of these. And we're going to use y equals mx plus b. So if I use y equals mx plus b for train A, uh, my y is my position, my m is my slope, which is my speed, so positive 80, and I'm gonna leave out the units just for right now, um, and my x is my time, plus b, well, b is the uh, intercept and that's zero, so I don't have to write that. So my equation for a is x equals 80t, yeah? And if I use y equals mx plus b formula for the train b, my y-axis is now my position axis, and for position, we use the letter x. My slope is negative 60 miles per hour. My x-axis is my time axis, so I'm gonna put a t plus my intercept is actually 150, which is miles. Oops, I went off the page. So, 
If x is equal to 80t and x is also equal to negative 60t plus 150, then we could say that these two things are equal to each other because if they're both equal to x, they have to be equal to each other. So we'll write that as a new formula. We'll say um, 80t, set that equal to negative 60t plus 150. Now I wanna get the t's both on the same side. So I'm going to use a different color here. I'm gonna add 60t to both sides. And this negative 60t plus 60t becomes a zero. And over here, I get I put an extra zero. Uh-oh. So I have 140t equal to 150. So then I want to get rid of that 140 on both sides. So I divide 140 on both sides. So this becomes a one. So now I have t is equal to 150 divided by 140. So I get 1.07. Now what are my units? I know that over here I had time in minutes, but here I had 80 miles per hour, negative 60 miles per hour, and 150 miles. So the only time I had here was hours. So that's hours. If I wanna figure out how long that was in minutes, I can say, that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then I can take that 1.07 times 60 and I get 64.3 minutes. And look, I thought it was about 62, that's pretty close. So those match. So the answer to A, this is the answer to A. The trains collide after 64.3 minutes. So now we need the answer to B. Where will the trains collide? I know it should be close to 90 miles. Well, I have how many hours here? And I have that the position is equal to 80 times the time in hours. So I'm just gonna fill that in. So if I say, x is equal to positive 80 miles per hour times 1.07 hours. The hours cancels and I get the position where they meet is 80 times 1.07 is 85.6 miles and that would be 85.6 miles uh, from the origin. So positive 85.6 miles from the origin. And I set the origin as being where train A started. And that's the answer to part B. So if you are doing my lab with the dueling buggies, this is the process you are going to use to uh, do your lab report. So these are all the things that I need. All right, have a great day.